What's up guys? So we found another, we found a shining flame base. I have my shortcut key, which I believe it probably just takes you to the last room so you don't have to do the middle one. I don't know. Uh, secure shortcut gate, that'll t I'll go to there. Now, as you can see, I'm warping in. There is already some stuff. And we have an augra, which we're going to kill first. And as you can see, the DPS is already higher than the other one. And these oracles hit like a truck. I'm telling you now. These things hit like a truck. So we're actually going to go in and nuke this oracle first. Because they're fast. And as you can see, good god. He's fast. But we're going to go in. Uh, we're going to kill his remote reps first. Because I don't want to have to try and bust through those. You do have to, if you're flying uh, a, a heavy assault cruiser for this, for example, you do have to monitor your uh, ship a little bit better than, than you would in the other one. For example, you don't want to fly directly at an oracle. It will just absolutely dome you. And you need to keep an eye on your capacitor because as, as there isn't any here yet, look... Look at that. Holy shit, 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 shit. That is mental. So I think these guys have like infinite tracking. I don't know. But these hits are ridiculous. We're not going to die. Chill. I'm talking to myself there. No, uh, yeah. The tank is holding. As I said, you could go a little bit shiny with the Ikatursa if you wanted to do these uh, to do these sites better or better uh, survivability. You could go shinier, but I didn't want to because um, I don't want to just become a, a massive loot pinata in this event. So as you can see, that's that one down. You may, I'm not going to lie to you, you may see me panic a little bit in this next room. It depends how it goes, <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm honest. There may be a brown pants moment, there may not. Let's get the tracking speed in. There we go. Get that one down. I wonder if I could take this gate without finishing the first initial wave. I don't know. I imagine if I'm scrammed, I'm not going to be able to. I probably could have. Yeah. Come on. Right, okay. So, as you can see, the DPS is quite different in these sites. The gauntlet, meh. This one, no. It is. you got to be on your toes with this one. absolutely have to be on your toes when it comes to this site just because of uh, I wonder if you can go through that gate before you even kill all these because I don't know I don't know yeah so this takes you straight to the last room good to know now what I am going to do is I'm going to find an align out because <laughs> that's how bad these ones can get can I just... Nope. Nope. So there's a curse. Shining Flame Curse. He will nuke me to death and uh, track and disrupt me. The others are just going to do the usual. E-War, that sort of stuff. But what I'm waiting for is the, uh, the big man to show his face. The commander. So we kill the little stuff just to make the site a little bit easier I don't want to get scrammed uh, because getting scrammed in this site yes I've got an afterburner yes I can web the thing that's scramming me and burn away and do one but at the same time if I can't do one because I'm scrammed by a couple things I don't want to be stuck in this site and lose this ship so there comes here comes the track of disruption from the curse as I said Kill these little ones first, 
and then we'll circle round and I think I'll probably orbit this at, at 30 I'll orbit that or current actually I'll orbit at current you have to run this way if you're doing this in an Ikitursa you do have to run this a little bit different than you run the other one And that's mainly down to uh, the, d the incoming damage, which not so much here, but in the next uh, in the next bit when the big daddy o comes in, it will be. And plus, they keep warping off to reposition. Uh, can I please? I'll just web you. That's fine. So if I can kill that before, not before the auger, because he can't keep up with me, so he keeps repositioning. Well, I'm going to dome him now. So, because he's he's catching reps because of that augur. So we need to make sure that we kill that, like so. And beep. Shield's gone. One shot. Yes. I'll t I'm going to. I'm not taking that much damage at the minute, so I'm going to turn me afterburner off. But at the start of the next wave, oh, oh that curse is breaking me. Not physically or whatever, just mentally a little. Right, come on, Curse. I haven't even got my afterburner on. Can you just catch up? This is the downside of the Curse. It restricts your ability to kite, especially in this, because you, there's no fall-off with these guns. It is up to that range, and that is it. There's no fall-off. There's uh, none of that like other guns. Uh, so you have to sort of make sure that I'm not too bothered in this wave because of it's only these two. But if this was a full room, I'd probably want to headshot these guys. Well, logic first, then that. I'll show you the next what in the next uh, wave anyway. What I'd, what I'll be doing. They do have an impressive tank. I will give them that. Right, you're coming to Tetron range. Right, nice. Thank you. But he has me, uh, you know what? I don't like your attitude, sir. Come in a bit closer, that's it. A little bit closer. Bit more. There we go. Thank you. So I can comfortably, one, tank this. Uh, but two, I don't even have to move or try and mitigate any damage. My cap's not going down either. I'm turning that off just to let a little bit regen before the next wave. Uh, because the next wave can be a little bit... Um, how can I put this? Rough. So once... I'm going to start setting up my orbit now. Because I've got to go in a little bit. So I need to set up my orbit again. I've got the wrong drones for this, but this is just a generic uh, drone lay layout. And he's instantly going for my other drones. What the hell? See, look. Wow. Okay. I forgot how much they did. They, they killed off my, my, my flight of smalls just as quickly as they, uh, they grabbed. They killed that then. Right, so here we go. Next wave. Which... I'm going to go with Misun. Misun? Bay... I don't even know how to pronounce these. Out. Someone's going to pull me up on it, but it's fine. Oh yeah, so this stuff that's in the sights, if you've seen these asteroids, it makes chromodynamic trichoboxyls, whatever. And you use it to make these, which I'm guessing some of these you can get. What is that? We're going to have a look at that in a minute. So let's go to... Yeah. Oh yeah, here they come. So I'm going to kill these off, because him off anyway. So we've got, we've got an Augur, we've got two curses this time. So that is my uh, that is my um, hopes and dreams of kiting gone. But there's no, no more difficult than the, what do you call it? Than the two, um, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? The two Blood Raider Ashimus. That's it. Ashimus. They're no worse than the Ashimus. I need to turn that back on actually. I've just realised. Yeah, there's no word no worse than two Ashimus, so it's nothing really to worry about with these guys. 
in regards to um, cap depletion. It looks like a lot, yes, it kind of is a lot, but cap's absolutely fine. I mean, if you were at, if you were one hundred percent like really concerned about your uh, about your capacitor on these on these sites, you could always drop that uh, that other ancillary current router for another capacitor tra uh, control circuit. You may have to take take these off the remote rep and these two off to fit it. Well, that's not really that bad if you're using the ship purely uh, on your own. Those are more for if I'm uh, when I'm flying with someone else. Not a necessity. Right, let's get orbiting that uh, that logic because I, I want him. I want him dead. But I'm gonna get through this wave. I'll speed this up a little bit because you've seen me kill this sort of stuff. And then hopefully, uh, well, it'll be the commander wave. I think it should be. Right, so as this last lodge is going down, uh, obviously I'm starting to set up my orbit away from the beacon. Because in comes some long range snippy snips. As uh, I'm going to try, I'm going to test out, we're going to test this now. Uh, I'm going to test if kiting away and killing the small stuff and then picking off targets is an option. Or if I'm going to have to just go in all out. There he is. I don't even know if... Right, okay. I don't know what's happened here, but basically, for some reason... Oh, wow. Look, see, look at that damage from 45... Why would I want to get up close to you, pal? 44k, I'll stay, I'll stay over here. But I noticed yesterday, I don't know what it was, but the site was either bugged or someone had been in there or something. But all that stuff, all this spawned with the commander. And I don't know why, but I was struggling. That's where I was struggling. But twice I've done this now, and it has just been the commander. And I don't know why. I think it must have just been those of you do incursions would uh, would know the phrase of a uh, preload. I don't know. I actually have no idea. So let's go for Tetron. We're going to go in nice and close. Obviously not burning directly at him because you never burn directly at a battleship, an NPC one. Never, ever, ever do it. You want to keep your angular velocity, which is basically the speed you're going at uh, an angle angle towards them. It's to do with your tracking. So as you can see, my tracking is 85. Wow, that is high. Good God. Um, the higher that is, the better you track. The higher your uh, speed and an angle direction from them, if that makes any sense whatsoever, let me know. Um, yeah, that's what uh, angular velocity is. The higher the angular velocity, you can ha add it on here. Um, the, ha the harder it is for you to be, tra uh, to, to be tracked. But also, the higher you're tracking, if your track is higher than your angular velocity, you're going to get hit. So, that's my bit. So as you can see, this thing, once you get past this and get to the battleship, it's the same as the last one. You just burn it down. I don't know why I had loads of this last night. It really puzzled me because this has been much easier than last night. There's been a lot more DPS and E-War and all that sort of stuff. Have you seen, as you were seeing, those uh, oracles, they hit you hard. I, did, I think as in, the, uh, in the other video, uh, the gauntlet, I got... Uh, a wrecking shot or smashes on me and it was like 1800 but that was this video what am I about but yeah the first room on here I got a, a smashing shot on me and it was like 1800 and I was like two like three kilometers from him using battleship guns even this guy can't hit me that hard so the oracles are OP in my opinion in this site so just be careful of them I'd 100% aim to remove them first if your tank is a little bit thin like mine I mean, my tank's good on the uh, rep cycle, but I've only got 4,300 armor. 
So it is paper thin. But the good thing is it's got a good thermal resist, which is what these guys damage. But also it's not great on the EM. But I'm using the same fit as I was in the other video, doing the Crimson Gauntlet. So again, those are just in case I get completely capped out. That's to help assist when I do use this same fit for doing C3 sites. C Class 3 wormhole sites. Uh, I've got my Republic Fleet large cat battery, stasis web fire, uh, afterburner, 10 men afterburner. That's so I can dictate range a little bit more, which is always nice. Uh, and then in the low slots is pretty much where all the bling is. It's not even that blingy either. I'm just going to give you a heads up. So you've got two entropic uh, disintegrate radiation sinks, uh, T2. Got two True Sansha armor reps, a True Sansha multi spectrum energized membrane, and then of course my assault damage control. Right, so we got those again, these. Now, I don't know, I think this is where you trade them in. I'm not 100% sure. But what I am going to do now we are, now we are relaxing and we're chilling is we're going to look at these weird asteroids. I'm going to click on them. No, I can't click on them in here. But I can click in them in the first room, which my alt is in. Because, you know, I wanted to keep an eye out. Chromatic or something like that, wasn't it? Nope. Nope. Is it these over here? Click. Nope. 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 There we are. So. Chophonic Atar. Okay, that's just weird so yeah it makes this it refines uh what is it now units uh six that's pretty heavy uh 100 units to reprocess and you get four units of chromodynamic tricarboxylis whatever now it looks like these are used to make some blueprints that these drop so f f this looks like an int frost line integrated analyzer blueprint so this looks like a new Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Those have been around for ages. Uh, front, Frostline Omnivore Harvester Upgrade. What? What is that? Developed by the Industrial Engineers of Ors Frostline Division, this, this harvester upgrade is able to increase the efficiency modules des designed to harvest ore and ice materials, but at the expense of higher efficiency that can be achieved by material uh, specific harvester upgrades oh wow okay so it looks like these upgrade to ship to go beyond maybe the uh, mining crystals cycle time bonus eight percent mining amount bonus seven percent cpu penalty okay yeah that's a big cpu penalty. wow okay that's interesting that these are dropping or uh mining modules as well that's really cool and um, entanglement optimizer let's have a look so, uh, Inquest Hedone Entanglement Optimizer, WS804. Let's have a look. So, uh, a neural interface upgrade that increases the maximum range of status webifiers and warp scramblers. Oh my god, they've got it. Web and scram implants. Spentis Inquest is an offshoot of Spentis Corporation that specializes in cutting eggs, cybernetic, and clone research. Okay, so why are these... I don't know. I don't know. But that is interesting. I've only just seen them. Someone please tell me how long they've been in the game because I have no idea. But anyway, looks like you can. Uh, they're used in manufacturing those as well. You need a fair bit of it. Where the hell? Oh, that's the usual. That's the that. Okay, that must have been the one that I've seen. That one. That must have been the one that's been in the game for a while. But these ones are the new, newer. Oh, nice. And ballistic control system blueprint. Nice, a new uh, ballistic control. That's cool. That's cool. So what's rate of fire? Eight. Wow, eight percent. Oh, okay. Eight. That is. That's pretty epic. I like that. Oh, okay. But I'm not seeing. You know what? Okay, so you can get those, and these must drop in these sites at some point. Um, I haven't seen any in any of these loot. These are just generic, pretty bad loot. Um, I'm going to go and double check them all now uh, off camera to just triple check. I've checked them before, and they were just bad. But I'm going to check them again just to just to make sure. Um, but it looks like you trade these in with the Blood Raiders to get certain, uh, like the Corpse Mobile Tractor Unit, and maybe some of those blueprints. So 
as soon as I know, I will let you know, guys. But thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've found it informative. And let me know if you're going to take out Nikki Tursa to do these, because, oh, it is fun. It's a little bit hairy brown pants, but it's fun. But take it easy. See you soon.